Hello Cape Town Redditors and YouTube. I recreated the city of Cape Town in Blender using a plugin by Progi Texture. Link in the description. It uses OpenStreetMaps and it is a plugin for Blender, so you use it inside Blender. And I'll show you how I did it, how I installed it, and just the first phase of getting some geometry imported. But first, some background and the reason of why this caught my eye in the first place. In 2013, my director friend Alex Finn asked me to work on some visual effects for a music video he was producing and directing. Um, Alex already had some great skill and I knew my VFX skills were lacking, but I said yes anyway and tried my best to recreate a CGI version of Cape Town in Autodesk Maya. At the time, I could only get terrain data from Google Earth and I had to make the buildings myself, which looked like crap. and it took a really long time. The music video was for a Cape Town local artist called Stan Wan and the song's name is Cape Town Takeover. A uh, link to the music video is in the description below. If you would like to see more of Stan Wan, I've put his Instagram there and also the director Alex Finn's Instagram is in the description. The inspiration for this project came across my feed one day when this video by CG Geek revealed itself to me. And I was intrigued to see what can be done 10 years down the line. If you're interested in trying this for yourself, I would highly recommend that you follow the link to the video in the description because Steve's video goes into much more depth. He even shows you how to texture the model and incorporate procedural clouds. The rest of this video will be a quick overview of how to install the plugin and the first phase of getting terrain geometry and some buildings and roads. But first let's take a look at the Cape Town model that I've made. And as you can see here, uh, all the elements are being separated into their own layer and can be edited on their own and what's happening is the roads are being projected onto the geometry so they're actually flat by default but they're using a deformer of some kind um, it's pretty cool that you can see the hiking trails on Table Mountain so the first thing to do is to head over to the Prokitecture Gumroad site to, uh, check for the link um, you can get this for free I would recommend that you give these guys something I'm a broke ass animator so I'm just gonna go and say zero <laughs> and then download the link will be available um, right away and you can just click on download and it will go to your downloads folder the next step is to obviously install the the plugin and you go to preferences and click on install and then browse to where you have downloaded the Blossom, B-L-O-S-M, and it will give you a message that it's been installed. Um, just to activate it, you must make sure that um, the checkbox is clicked. So search for it, uh, search like OSM, and make sure the checkbox is clicked. Now we can just make a new file, and delete all this crap, and right on the side here, you'll see that uh, there's a new tab that says OSM. Now to grab the area that you want to work on, you press select and then this opens in your browser. Um, you will have to manually scroll to the area that you want. I've decided to go check out the place where I was born um, in Pretoria. It's called Doornpoort and there you see it is Vonneboom Airport and that's the neighborhood I grew up in. So you will press uh, select and then a bounding box will open and you sort of just uh, size it up to the area that you want. When you've got the area you click copy and tab over back to your blender and click on paste. And now it's now the, the area has been uh, cordoned off but you need to first start with uh, terrain data. So tab over to terra terrain in the drop down menu and press import. Now you're going to have to um, change your view settings to have a much further clipping distance. I would recommend doing the clip start at 100 and the clip end at like 10,000. Right, now it's time for some streets and some buildings. So we tab back over to the OSM uh, plugin and then we switch to open street maps in the drop down menu. Now I want railways as well so I just going to bring that in. Gabled means triangular roofs and then flat roofs are obviously flat. So 
So I will import that and see what happens now. Okay, and there you go. There are some of the buildings did not come through. My settings might be need a little dialing in, but you can see the streets and they are being projected onto the geometry. Uh, different colors, different shaders, and then you can see all the various parts in the outliner. And we'll just save that as Dwarenpoort, my neighborhood. Thank you so much for watching. If this has been helpful, please leave a like and subscribe. I am planning on making a lot more of this kind of content in the future. And if it's helpful to you, please give me some feedback and I will make videos that uh, more people would be interested in. I just want to give a special thanks to the following people who have been throwing some work and some PayPal dollars my way, making all of this possible. Um, Maximilian Speckler, Maurice Lacordier, Tanya Bailey, Ashley Naidu, Nancy Ebling, Sean Symes, Patrick Kemper, Nathan Albers, Liz Schmidt, Christina Brooks, Tash Govender, and D.N. Paul. Of course, amongst my mom and dad, there are many others out there. Um, wherever you are, you know who you are. And thank you so much. Thank you very much for watching. And... I hope to see you in the next one.